The Xiaomi Mi 10 is coming next week and I'm going to be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe, follow by the bell. So the Xiaomi Mi 10 is causing a lot of excitement and we've had plenty of news roll in ahead of its release on the 13th of February, which is of course next week. Now the release date hasn't actually been confirmed yet, but it was basically hinted by Micron. Micron posted to confirm that the Mi 10 is going to be coming with DDR5 memory and they also announced they'd be selecting 5 fans to receive 100 yuan to help with the purchase of a Mi 10. In their post, they actually specified the date of February 13th, making fans think that this is of course going to be official release. We were also advised of this in a previous leak by Xiaomi Shka, who claimed the device wouldn't be launched in an offline event due to the coronavirus. It's expected that the online reservations are going to begin on the 10th of February, with the unveiling and the release being the 13th. Xiaomi product director Wang Tang has also confirmed that all variants of the Mi 10 are going to be equipped with the latest DDR5 RAM. The Mi 10 is actually going to be the first phone using DDR5 memory. The low power DDR5 memory offers a transfer rate of 6.4 gigabits per second and that's twice as fast as DDR4 while consuming 20% less power. It is thought however that with the Samsung Galaxy S20 that's going to be releasing shortly afterwards, it's still going to outperform the Mi 10 in the memory tests. We've already had plenty of live photos leaked along with the packaging for the Xiaomi Mi 10 so I thought I'd run through all of the specs for you guys. We of course have the Xiaomi Mi 10 and the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. If we start with the cheaper model, the Xiaomi Mi 10. The Xiaomi Mi 10 is expected to come with a 6.4 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1080x2340. It's reportedly going to be faster than 60Hz but at this point we're unsure if that's going to be 90 or 120. Earlier on there was a leaked spec from an online store claiming a 6.57 inch display but it does appear that this was incorrect. The Xiaomi Mi 10 is reportedly going to have a punch hole 32 megapixel wide angle camera and given that there's no fingerprint scanner to be seen we're expecting an in display scanner. The front of the Xiaomi Mi 10 will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass 6. On the rear of the Xiaomi Mi 10 we get a quad camera setup and this consists of a 64 megapixel Sony IMX686. This is coupled with a 20, a 12 and a 5 megapixel sensor although exact configurations are still unknown. When it comes to the hardware in the Xiaomi Mi 10 it's going to be using the latest Snapdragon 865. We're unsure at this time though if the standard Mi 10 is going to come with the X55 modem to allow for 5G capabilities. The Xiaomi Mi 10 is going to come with a choice of 8 or 12 gigs of RAM and a choice of 128 or 256 storage and it will of course be running Android 10. The Mi 10 is going to be powered by a 4500 mAh battery with support for 40 watt fast charging using wires and an incredible 30 watt fast wireless charge. Leaks have stated that the Mi 10 should be starting around £330, so that's $427 in the USA and a great bit of hardware for the cost. Next up we've got the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. The Mi 10 Pro is of course the premium model of the range and while it's similar in many ways it does have some improvements. It should be sporting the same OLED display on the front but it's thought that the Xiaomi Mi 10 may only be 90Hz whereas the Mi 10 Pro will be 120 It's going to be the same 6.4 inch OLED display with a resolution of 1080x2340 and it's going to be protected by Gorilla Glass 6 with an in-display fingerprint scanner. There are rumours of a dual punch hole selfie camera with a 32 megapixel wide angle and an 8 megapixel depth sensor. When it comes to the rear of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, we again have a quad camera setup but we have improved sensors being used. For the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, we've got a 108 megapixel primary shooter along with a 48, 12 and 8 megapixel camera. Again, the exact camera configurations have not yet been confirmed. The Mi 10 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 865 and it also comes with the X55 modem, meaning we do get 5G connectivity. We get 12 gigs of RAM and you get a choice of 128, 256 or 512 gigabytes storage. 
The Mi 10 Pro is also powered by a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, but on the Pro we get 66 watt fast wireless charging and a 40 watt wireless charge according to a recent leak. There are people claiming that the battery of the Mi 10 Pro is going to be 5,250 milliamp hours, but there's no source to back these up and it seems unlikely considering the phone is the same size as the cheaper model. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is expected to start at £410, which is about $530 in the US, so again, it's not a bad price at all for the specs that we're seeing. Of course, as any more information comes to light for either of these phones, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Xiaomi Mi 10? Are you waiting for the Xiaomi Mi 10 or the Mi 10 Pro? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.